Hi everyone and welcome to my place from beneath the bowl of beautiful orchids. I'll just press it, push that away. I want to show you how to create your own spectacular, beautiful bowl of permanent orchids displayed to look resplendent in the decors of your homes. Now you know what it's not like when you buy the orchid and it looks fabulous it cost you an arm and a leg and almost had to sell a kidney to buy it because they something this size is really 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 expensive so you're looking at your blooms and all of a sudden one day you see fade and then you see drop and within a matter of days all of the beautiful blooms have fallen well I want to show you how you can either incorporate using what you've already got or starting afresh how you can do it and it is so easy let me just push that over to there out of the way and I will show you how easy it is first and foremost you need to get a container whatever size you desire but as long as it's strong and sturdy before you start the next thing I do is I fill the inside of the cavity with foam right to about up to about two inches from the rim of the or the opening of your container just shove the foam in and then you can start to create and you could also put I think in another video I did I showed you how to take the have a look at the first in this series I think I've done the last one I did was just one big display of all the orchids at the top well this time I want to show you how to take them from the top all the way down into your container so fill your base with your foam then put some orchid bark on the top of it and then you are ready to go now because I've been prepared I will show you what I mean but back to front but here we have it so you get the other thing I wanted to share with you is if you have an orchid display and the orchids have died cut them down leave the leaves that they come with because they will just continuously grow you could plant it up with some part with some other little plants if you wanted to I do that all the time and it's sort of pretty much what the French used to do in the 18th century and it was called a potted fleur which was just growing with fresh flowers incorporated into it so you can see that I've got the bark going all the way up to the top there the foam's in the base and then I've got the uh, bark on the top of that just as as they do when the botanists are growing them so there we have our display we've got our base and we're ready to go now from there the next thing is getting looking at the orchids and these are some of our orchids that we have here at Prestige Botanicals fabulous way of sorting out a design problem and the great thing is that as I said this is permanent and it will last and last and last and when the orchid inside dies off cut it off get rid of that leave it going continue to give it a little bit of water and then put the artificials into it now this this there are several ways that you can do this now where are we here so what I've done what I'll, I'll show you how to do that right now so opening that up like so so there's our orchid bloom all you need to do is to get yourself a, a bamboo stake or you could get another any kind of stake um, I like the bamboo because it's sort of, well it doesn't really matter, it's just whatever you've got on hand. Just getting some 20 gauge wire, I've cut it in half and all I'm going to do is to just bend that around like so to just fuse, to just fix that and secure it into place. Now just go down a little bit further and then oops just do the same again making sure that that's tight you could use a twist and tie or you could perhaps use a little bit of jute whatever you've got but I prefer the wire because it sort of like hides it and gets it out of out of the way and having that stake all the way to the top actually is going to give you the stability that you need and then just getting a pair of, of snips and then just cutting that off and then if it's still because these are quite he visually they're quite heavy so if you need to go back get into there further right up to the top there um, to just secure that 
into place, you can just by taking that around and around. And of course, the great thing because they're artificial, you don't have to be too careful with them because if you used wire on these, it would die. Uh, actually, it would break it. All right, the next thing to do is the orchid leaves have been cut out. These are all ready to just go down in amongst the soil. Ah, that's it. You might need to just push that around like so and don't be too sort of like no oh, it doesn't sit right it doesn't sit right that doesn't matter because they don't sit perfectly in nature either now what I've done is I've got one a little bit taller and one a little bit shorter and with this one here I'm just going to take that down and into there like so and I love these little wee shoots that are off the side look at that how beautiful is that now you could either fill it up with more of those, or you might want to just bring in another colour. I love these. I saw these when we were in Hawaii a couple of years ago, and I absolutely fell in love with them growing. All mixed together, I'd never seen that before, so that's where this inspiration has come from. And then with this one here, we'll take that over into the, like so. Oh yes, that's perfect. And where these little blooms are, if you need to, it's just a matter of just getting into there and just bringing down those little moths and bringing those down into there. And then with this one here, what I now want to do with this is, I don't actually want that to be so high. I think it needs to come into there. So just cut that off. I should have done that to start with. However, I wasn't thinking, was I? And I've just had a design issue that I don't like. Now, the other thing I want to tell you is, ugh, if you want to cut them, I am on the hunt and very soon we will have the best wire cutters to be using with our blooms. Now because I've cut that and that's just on its, it doesn't have enough support, just get another piece of wire, just like this, cut that off and then we might as well do this properly just right now. I could have not cut that but never mind. That in amongst those ferns, bring that down into there, and I'm just going to push that, ah, that's better, it's got, I love, like I do love those big, the big displays where they're all at the top, and I, I, I'll put the link there so that you can have a look at it, but I actually quite like it with the flowers at the top drifting down to the bottom, and as I said, don't worry about those all facing, because in nature they don't do it, so you don't need to worry about it. Now the great thing is that, I haven't really upset the root structure of the plants into here, but that will just come again and then the spikes will grow through it. And there you have something that's fresh and artificial and is sure to last a long, long time. So I hope you've enjoyed that. I've enjoyed sharing it with you and I look forward to seeing you all again another day. Mm -hmm.